That is the phone ringing, and we get to talk to none other than Quinn. Hey, Quinn, congratulations on a clean 2-0. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Feels good. I can only imagine. Uh, it was it was so clean to the point where I, I'm very curious what the preparation for this series in particular looked like because it feels like the last couple of series you and your team had against Liquid, it's just been it's just been crushing nonstop. And like, what do you have? like for Team Liquid specifically that works against them? Um, I mean, I think in terms of like amount of prep of, or quality of prep, whenever what we do for Liquid is similar to what we do for everyone else. I think uh, we have a good matchup against them because I think Liquid is a very, very aggressive team. Like they run at you, they try to stomp lanes, they, they like are super aggressive. And I think our laning as a team is just very, very strong. And it's hard to stomp us because our lanes are super good. So unless we screw up the draft really badly, you're not going to stomp us. And so I think because of that, we tend to just like we we uh, we survive their aggression, and then we get to just play play Dota against them. Yeah, there was a lot of great Dota played against them uh, today. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, obviously, I'm here with uh, with Purge, Effie, and Jenkins, and uh, Purge, uh, we'll start with asking some so, questions too. Uh, you said uh, you managed to survive their their strong laning stage uh, in game one. Uh, they had a very good laning performance against you guys. Uh, were you anticipating this and to play through into the mid game? Uh, yeah, I mean, we picked Slark into Fury and Tusk. You kind of know it's not going to be the greatest lane, but it's a pretty good Slark game. And I think we were, I think this underload pick is like way too insane. I think the heroes can't play against it really. Um, and we're there. I mean, Tofu and Ace are just confident playing against like so many matchups. So like we, we they're going to pick some Ursa. We don't really care that much. Um, I think once, you know, once it passes some 10 minutes, whatever, the game gets to a point where it's quite nice for us. Maybe they have one move with DK Blink or something, but we're, we're going to get some spells at some point, and then their heroes can't fight us anymore, I think. Cool. And uh, the second question, um, how, how long have you been practicing this like OD adjustment build with the two points Astral? Uh, I mean, I've done it on and off in like pubs and stuff for, I don't know, like several weeks. I mean, I, I just, I mean, everybody stole the build from Thompson. Thompson did this build like whenever Hammer first got changed, and then people were like copying it a bunch. I think people played in Eastern Europe, some GPKs and uh, the press kids and stuff. So it's, it's uh it's like kind of standard at this point, but it's it's pretty nice the insta hammer. Uh, okay, hey Quinn, congrats on the win. Hello, hello, hello. But I just wanted to ask you a couple of things. Uh, number one is I'm really curious. Like when you approach these third party tournaments, do you place any kind of value on them over something like a DPC tournament, or do you just go for it the same way? I go for it the same way. Um, I have way too much self worth placed in how much how good I am at this game. So losing any game or any tournament or whatever uh, wounds me too deeply to not take it seriously. Um, yeah, so I, I take it pretty seriously when I win, especially when you play Liquid, because all these you know there's always there's always some caveat when you play Liquid and you win is oh Boxy wasn't there, oh, Boxy was sick, oh, Boxy hurt his knee. Like there's there's always something you know. So to win without with no knees hurt and nobody's sick, it's like you know I, I just want to win you know. Okay, on that abrasive note, um, I'm curious. How, did you see Moon Meander's public declaration of war against you? And what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, man, I accept his declaration of war, and uh, my vegan captain will smack him down uh, in however many <laughs> days we play him. That's great. And uh, the last thing I want to get your opinion on is, have you heard the rumors of the patch dropping right before Berlin? Yeah, I have. Okay, so do you feel like that's overall healthy for the scene, or would you have preferred it dropped at a different time? I mean, I think it definitely should have dropped earlier. I think dropping it right before the major, whenever points matter as much as they do in this ecosystem, is a bit uh, questionable. I mean, presumably they just didn't have the patch ready, so they needed to wait until a point where there wasn't a tournament going on. Uh, so they're like dropping in the middle of this because there's like a small break. I mean, I get it from their perspective, but I think in terms of competitive integrity, it's kind of bad to drop a mm. major patch right before a tournament that gives you points to qualify to UTI. Yeah, I actually agree with you there. Thank you. Thank you. I've got one quick question to go off of that, because if the patch drops at the rumored time, which would be Thursday night or Friday morning for us or something like that, it would mean that the four teams that come out of the group stage here get to play on the new patch in the playoffs. If you, you know, winning or losing a side, would you prefer to watch other teams figure it out or rather get the experience of playing on the patch straight away? I think it's definitely better to play, especially if you know if it's, if it's a big patch, then maybe mm -hmm. there's map changes. And I think there's a lot of things about like the map and heroes and stuff that you just sort of have to feel out. Like just playing a mass quantity of games when there's a new patch, whether it be officials or pubs, I think is the most beneficial generally. 
All right, thank you. Uh, hey, Big Q, it's uh, Dang It's Here. <laughs> What's up, Big J? Uh, just hanging out. Uh, and I wanted yeah. to... Want, uh, so, uh, the fight, the good battle, the war that's been waging between you and Reddit, and obviously uh, Moonmander joining the sides of Reddit and Fart Studios went uh -huh. down the other day. Uh, I'm wondering if this uh, kind of war is giving you uh, motivation, empowering you up in your gameplay. Uh, because honestly, people say, oh, Quinn joined Game of Gladiators, he did so well, whatever. That's also the time when you started fighting with Reddit, and I think that's actually what caused the power up. So I wonder what your opinion is on that. Yeah, I mean, I think um, I think people saying, ah, you suck, yeah, you can't do this, you can't do that, man, man, man. And then you you prove them wrong, that feels good. That's a, that's a motivating factor for sure. Um, people are also just too nice in Dota. Somebody's got to be a heel, you know. Somebody's got to say something inflammatory in an interview to get people riled up. There's got to be a Reddit thread made about something that isn't art or like somebody, in, you know, casting zip on a guy 3,000 units away, you know. So you, Reddit's got to be filled with something, and I choose it to be me. Yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> uh, okay, I got a final question. Uh, can you do a charade, uh, do a Dota hero, and we're going to go ahead and guess <laughs> for this a new segment, which is called Interview Charades, everybody. <laughs> and we're going to guess right. a hero. New, new segment, okay. Yeah. All right, all right. We're, we're doing charades? Okay, here, yeah. right, here sure, we go. Sure, sure, sure. What? No sounds. What? Um, can you do it again? Um, is that a pulverize? I, I have a guess. Can I pick? No, no, that was too you, short. You, you can guess. I, I, I can, I can uh, hang out. No, I'm the host. Know, he, you can't he, tell he him. Kinda, he kind of just, he kind of just, he kind of runs around, and then, uh, and then he, mm -hmm. he does one of these. Boom. Oh. Shiver, go that's ahead. All, that's all I got. Shiver. Is it an Elder Titan? It is not. Shit. One more time. One more time. <laughs> is it not just Primal? Well, I, I've got, a, I've got a ground pound. One more time. Is it a ground pound? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> well, so I, mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, oh, that's sort Earthshaker? of what the motion is. Earthshaker? No, it's not Earthshaker. Oh. Ooh, it's more. Pound. It's more. Oh. It's more of a leg ground pound. It's a leg ground yeah, pound. Elder Titan does the biggest leg. No, he already said no. It's not. Elder I know. Titan. Think, of, think of heroes I play. What does he play? Pangolier. What is he? <laughs> is it Pango? It can't be Pango. It's not Pango. 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 That's all he plays. That's all he plays. Think, think, think of a, a majestic steed, roaming the, the roaming the fields. Keeper of the light, obviously. With, with magic and potentially uh, 70s, 80s music trends. <laughs> 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 what the fuck are you talking about, Quinn? <laughs> Disco pony, one would say. Oh, it's flesh oh. track! Uh, it's flesh track, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Flesh it's that? flesh track. Yeah, he does. Yeah, his knee his like no, litter. He doesn't, doesn't rears he like... up and then Wait, boom. Yeah, but okay, like... but you legged up with your lower leg, which wouldn't then be your high okay, leg. Okay, yeah, that's true. That doesn't make any sense, but like... <laughs> no, wait, wait. Can you I'm, put... I didn't expect to play charades today. <laughs> Can you see us, Quinn? Can you see us? Huh? Can you see us? What? He wants you to laugh. You have a video of us. What? Oh, can you see? Do you have us? a video feed of us. Can you oh, see can me you right see now? Us? Oh, can I? Oh, yes. Sorry. You can. You, okay. Yes, put yes, the camera on me. You, yes. It's like this. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, shit, no. Weird. What are you talking about? That's that your lower leg. It's backwards. No, 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 it's it would have to go backwards. No, you need to stand. You need to like. I you need to know, stand you... on your hands and feet and put your hands yeah, in the air and then slam them down. But well, that's what he did, and we couldn't guess it. No, because he didn't have his hands on the floor. Yeah, he put one. He put one. Oh, you think I'm gonna do a handstand? Okay, I'll do it. That's what he just did. I'll do it. Here he goes. What? No, this, dude! How else am I dude, supposed to do crab it? Crab walking. <laughs> how else am I supposed to do it? It's not a crab walk. No, oh, hey, oh God. <laughs> the, I like your the chair one better. The, oh, Shut up. The chair one was better. That was sure. a hard one, Quinn. Why would you great. pick something so hard? Okay, Quinn, be honest and rate that dude. impersonation out of 10. Be honest, please. And thank you. His? I don't know. It was like a two. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a golf scale. Two is good. Two is good. We've Quinn and I talked about this before. Mm. That two was double good. bogey for sure, then. <laughs> Is a bogey good? Around. I don't know no, golf. That's bad. That's Bogey's bad. bad. You're way over. Why do they have a name for something that's bad? Oh, because, because some fun. people are bad. Not you professionals. To, you need a name for them. Why is there a two out of ten on the normal Qu ten scale? Quinn is like the Tiger Woods of golf. Quinn. Uh, I have not cheated on my wife. Uh, so thank you very much. <laughs> nice. There's that Reddit thread. <laughs> There's that Reddit thread he talked about. I right, you. Power sure. grows. I think uh, Tiger Woods just dropped out of his tournament early because he wasn't doing so good. So I don't think that's Quinn's trajectory either. No. He's just joined the panel. Yeah. At this I'm, point. Hopefully, I'm not washed either. I tend <laughs> yeah. to be doing these, not this. You know. Yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, it's going. It's going pretty well. Other than Team Liquid, and of course now as well, TSM. Who do you look forward to playing most, and why is it probably mm -hmm. Shopify? I think I think Spotify is always fun. Um, yeah, Shopify. Just because. Yeah. yeah, I'm friends <laughs> with their players and. <laughs> I don't know. It's fun to call them a company that they're not sponsored by, and I don't know. It's just, mm -hmm. just fun to play them. You get a free subscription if, if uh, you beat them. Yeah, it's it's really. I love I love year long subscriptions. It's great. So. <laughs> I also have fun playing Shopify, Spotify sometimes. Press play, entertainment guaranteed. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs>
<laughs> for uh, humoring us with uh, with charades and making. I must say, it was impressive how you instantly came up with a very difficult one to guess. It was good. Uh, appreciate that. Good luck in your next match tomorrow, and uh, talk to you again sometime soon. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you.